Hello from Tanya and me and welcome to this evening's programme. First, the businessmen and women who've lost hundreds of thousands of pounds and the bank mistakes that will go unpunished. Tonight, there's an angry response from small business owners that the Financial Conduct Authority won't be taking action against the Royal Bank of Scotland, which they say caused them to go bust. RBS says it welcomes news there'll be no further action and is focusing on putting things right for its customers. Malcolm Robertson reports. They built up a successful haulage business in Norfolk, but Paul and Jane Clark have lost everything. All they see are empty warehouses where there was once thriving industry. They say the worst decision they made was to switch to RBS 10 years ago. They were then put into the bank's global restructuring group with catastrophic results. GRG um, closed us down for whatever reasons. We we're paying our bills. We, we weren't, um, our turnover was high. Um, we still had profits. Um, but since the day of administration, I'm, it's broke me, sorry. Yeah. For the last five years, I've lived like this every single day. Sorry. We're, in, we're living in limbo, we just cannot move on. An independent review had revealed the bank's CRG systematically mistreated customers like the Clarks, and according to the Financial Conduct Authority, it was unregulated. There's frustration and no little anger from small businesses who've lost a great deal that the Financial Conduct Authority, which regulates financial services in this country, says it's powerless to take any action against RBS or its senior management. Incredible to a couple whose firm had employed 50 people. It was a business doing well, with one particularly lucrative contract delivering Harry Potter books, but now non-existent. What is the point of the FCA? It's the Financial Conduct Authority. Where's the conduct? The government need to step in and either get rid of the FCA and get some... Or give them some teeth. In its report released this week, the FCA said, we found no evidence of dishonesty or lack of integrity specifically, but senior management sought to treat customers unfairly. Many businesses went to the wall, many businesses went to the wall because of actions of certain individuals within GRG. So it's actually, it's really immoral that a business that needs help actually have, has actually received the opposite. Ten years ago, RBS was bailed out by the public during the banking crisis. It's welcomed the FCA's decision to take no further action. Its chairman says the board continues to focus on putting things right for customers through our complaints process and ensuring that past mistakes cannot be repeated. The way the bank deals with business customers in financial difficulty is fundamentally different now. Andy Gibbs is another who lost millions as a result of exposure to Global Restructuring Group, a successful architect who'd revamped King Street in Norwich. It certainly had major effect on my uh, health and well-being and uh, in the end uh, we lost kind of everything really, um, having poured 35 years of life into it. Um, they, uh, they zeroed it within a two-year period. I fought for two years, but um, gave up on a hospital bed, basically. But he's up and running again. He and thousands of other firms who lost out are still fighting. The clerks determined to have their day in court. Malcolm Robertson, ITV News. We would, of course, let you know if there are any further developments on that story. Uh, Ryan, let's round up some more of your day's news now. And a 23-year-old man from Ritalin, Essex.